Hi, Dave Friedman, Hardwood Floor Finishing 101. In this video, we sand, stain, and refinish old can rails, newel posts, and balusters. So stick around and we'll show you how we did it. Remove the material off the post. Simplest way to do it is to use this paint stripper. Just heirloom paint stripper is fine. Or any paint stripper. This is what I have in this particular case. So I just cake all this stuff on the rounds. Make sure you're wearing gloves. If you do get it on your skin, make sure you rinse it off very quickly with water. So there's four posts I'm doing here. I've already covered the post upstairs. You can give it some time to work itself in. It's going to strip the finish off. It's going to should start bubbling. After a short period of time, it'll start bubbling. Now on the flats, I'm just going to use my palm sander as much as I can. And you can even, if, if you're careful, you can even on this part here, I can palm sand that with a lighter grit. So you can strip it too, but I'm going to end up palm sanding this part here as well. Wherever I can kind of reach my palm sander in, I like to get a nice sanded finish as much as possible. So I've gooped that on there. I really put it down thick and heavy and let it work itself in there. So we're going to give that a few minutes to work itself in. Remember, you do not want to get this stuff on your skin. If you do, you got to have that quick access to water to rinse it off right away. So when you're wire brushing this off, you want to make sure you're wearing a respirator and rubber gloves. Be careful not to get it all over your skin. If you get it on your skin, make sure you rinse. You have quick access to water to rinse it off. Because if you don't, it'll start to burn. And you'll know it. Okay, so I have my respirator on. Because when you're, when you're scraping this off with the brush, the stuff's flying everywhere. So you should wear goggles too. I have glasses on, so I'm okay that way. But if you want, wear goggles. And just be careful when you're doing this. And you take your, your brush... So I also use these contour stripping pads by 3M. These are very effective in getting into the grain. I'm going to be staining these brown. So I have to get all this polyurethane that's on there off because the stain, you know, has to go into the pores of the wood. And if there's any urethane on there, the stain just won't adhere. So we have to strip all the urethane off. The simplest way to get down into the tight areas is to use a scraper because the sander, the palm sander can only get you to a certain point and then you're going to need to use the scraper to get into the tight corners, right? And you might be wondering why I'm doing this with the carpet. They're ditching this carpet because this is going to be scrapped out so that's why I'm not really too concerned about, you know, what happens to the carpet because obviously it's been cut and they're going to be doing that after I'm done. 
the handrail so we're doing the posts the handrails and the balusters so the balusters and the handrails I've got at my place stripping them and refinishing them and the posts I just left intact here I find that uh, removing the posts weakens them considerably the way they are here and so it's just as easy to do them here and also applying the stain and finish is easier to do when they're intact as opposed to loose you can do them loose too but um, you just find that when they're intact here it's a little easier so again with the scraper these tight areas in particular here you see this here and down here and then you know in the back here in the tight areas you're gonna have to use the scraper okay so you can see I've gone over I've done the flats and the flats on both ends so basically what you do is you, you hit these with a 36 first that's what I do because it's faster right and then I'm gonna hit it with a 60 um, and that's fine with these I'm gonna be staining these uh, walnut like a walnut color and I'll go through and show you how I do that after I strip the flats now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going to first um, I rough just rough off the ends with the 36 then I'm gonna go ahead and do the round parts right the um, the lathe turned parts here I'm gonna do that next with the stripper then I'll go back after I strip these and because it, the stripper, you know, it drips kind of on the flats and I don't want that stuff on there when I'm going to be staining. So I'll do the stripping of the lathe turned parts first after I've got these all, all these flats done. And I will strip down the lathe turned parts. And then I'll go back after and I'll redo the flats with the higher grit just to give it a smoother finish. Um, again, they're just balusters, so same thing with these too, right? I'll probably take these, I'll take these up to 100, the handrails. I'll take these up to 100 grit. Right now they're only 36 grit, these handrails here. So after I um, get these balusters done, I'm going to go back and do the handrails. Okay, so I've started staining the posts, and it's looking pretty good. Got the two done here. And I've got two left to do here. You can see these have been sanded. And I'll cover how we do that. We also sanded, stained, and refinished the floor to this house. And you can see that video here. Wipe it off with this rag here. This is how it looks after the stain is applied and has been removed. One more to go. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe to the channel.